Hi, welcome to the new Spring Boot tutorial series. This tutorial is based on the new Spring Boot 3 version. In part 2 of this tutorial, we will pick up where we left off after part 1. This time we will continue with Get Mapping Post Mapping Put Mapping Patch Mapping Delete Mapping And Request Mapping Let's open Eclipse and write some code. To avoid conflicts, we need to modify the Get Mapping annotations from Tutorial Part 1. After implementing the REST Mapping annotation at the class level, we can simplify all Get Mapping annotations. To increase the pace of this tutorial, I have prepared some methods. I modified the Request Mapping annotation to Get Mapping. The Get User method is the simplest form of Get Mapping. I have added the URL to each method as a comment. The get variable one method uses the path variable annotation. This is a commonly used variant. The get variable two method uses request perm annotation. As you can see, it has more options like default value and required. Get variable three and get variable four use request body annotation. With this, the data is included in the body of the request. The JSON variant is often used. You can use the request mapping annotation at method level as a replacement for get mapping. With more configuration options. Next I have two examples of the response entity return type. Here you can configure status and other things besides returning data. Finally you have the return type void. It has little use, but is a possibility. Now we want to test all HTTP requests in Insomnia. You can also use Postman to test HTTP requests. I have put the code from Eclipse and the Insomnia screen below each other so you can follow along. As you will see, all methods work fine, they do not give any error. And return the expected result. After testing all the HTTP requests one by one we continue with our code. We will then see an example of all the other mapping annotations. After the get mapping annotation, it is now the turn of post mapping, put mapping, patch mapping, and delete mapping. To conclude this section, we created a CRUD controller. CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. This CRUD controller class has the following methods Get users with the get mapping annotation, Create user with the post mapping annotation. Update user with the put mapping annotation. Patch user with the patch mapping annotation. And delete user with the delete mapping annotation. To test the CRUD controller class, I created for each method an HTTP request in Insomnia. In the upper window, you see the browser window. The window reloads every five seconds. In the lower window, the Insomnia HTTP requests. As you can see everything works fine and without errors. Thank you. Like.
comment, share, and subscribe.